I want to talk about communication here for a moment. Now, there are many reasons why we communicate. Some of the times it's purely to share and tell a story, but a lot of the time in our day-to-day -day communication, the goal is to have a specific outcome. We want something to happen, whether that is our kids to put on our shoes, our partner to help with the home tasks, or your coworker to make the changes to the report that need to be done. There's usually an outcome or a goal that we are aiming for. So in order to have that happen, we need to be aligning our communication strategies with that goal or that outcome. So. A lot of the times what might happen, and let's take an example from a personal relationship here, is we get frustrated and we resort to that passive aggressive communication style, which maybe serves a purpose in the fact that it allows us to get out some anger and frustration that feels good to get that out um, and certainly can be effective in letting the other person know that you're feeling frustrated or upset but it doesn't actually allow for that change in behavior from the other person that you're looking for in order to get that outcome and put yourself in the other person's shoes as soon as someone starts talking to you in that tone i'm going to assume you're you're likely not really open to a further discussion that kind of shuts down the lines of communication communication. So while it may be tempting and while it might feel good in the moment, it's not going to change anything. It's not going to get you the outcome that you want. So in order to get that outcome, here's a few things to try. Put the passive aggressive statements, that anger and that frustration aside and make sure you're having these conversations when you are calm and you're feeling open. And by that, I mean, you're willing to have the conversation in and have both people in that conversation be both active participants and active listeners. You are going to be direct and assertive while still being kind. And essentially the main goal is that you need to ask specifically for what you want and explain why. That why helps get the other person on board. When these people around us realize our motivation, our why for asking and making this request, they're much more likely to comply. And when you can be direct and there are no guessing games, there, there's no thought play involved there, it makes it a lot easier for the other person to comply, to change their behavior, and you get the outcome that you want. So if you find yourself feeling frustrated or misunderstood or underappreciated, or that you're only able to communicate when you're feeling angry and frustrated and resentful, then maybe that is a time to look at how you're communicating and make sure that you're using strategies that are going to get you to that end goal. Best of luck.